Hey everyone, it's Emily with Cozy Clicks, and I'm going to show you how you can add in a sky overlay and rainbow overlay using the new Clouds and Rainbows Overlay Pack by Cozy Clicks. Now these are unlike some of the other packs in the Cozy Clicks shop. These are not Photoshop actions, they are overlays, so you can use them with the older versions of Photoshop and Photoshop Elements. So I'm going to be working with this photo right here that I did edit a little bit, but the sky is very overcast. It's gray. It's just lacking that pop that I want to see from a photo. So I'm going to start by adding a sky overlay. So I'm going to go to File, Place Embedded. I'm going to choose one of the Cozy Clicks Clouds and Rainbows sky overlays first. Um, and for this one, I just kind of want it blue and puffy clouds, so I'm going to uh, choose um, maybe number 16 right here, and I just hit place. Now from there, what you can do is you could drag any of these points here to change the size, or you can just m use the move tool to move your sky to the place where you want it. I'm going to kind of move it right here by that horizon line. Um, and I'm going to line it up just like that, and I'm just going to double click to place it. Now you can see that this sky is very clear, but the water's kind of blurry. So I want to make it that same blurriness as my water. So to do that, I'm just going to go to Filter, Blur, Gaussian Blur, and I'm going to adjust the radius so it looks a little more realistic. And I'm kind of liking that. I'm going to hit OK. From there, you can also adjust your opacity. You don't have to. You can keep it this intense if you want to. And you don't have to add the blur if you don't need to, too. Um, totally up to you what you can do with these overlays. From here, I'm just going to decrease that opacity just a little bit. Then I'm going to click down here to add a layer mask that pops up here. And I'm going to grab my gradient tool make sure it's set up here to linear gradient and I'm just going to take and drag a little bit so I have a gradient of that sky so it looks a lot more natural there. And that looks pretty good, pretty easy to add that sky. Now I could leave it just like that but in the new pack I also have rainbow overlays so let's make a little more magic with this photo. I'm going to go back up to file, place embedded, and I'm going to go back to the Cozy Clicks Clouds and Rainbow Pack, and this time I'm not going to go to the Sky Overlays, I'm going to click on the Rainbow Overlays. And you're going to see some rainbows that look pretty fake right here, but I'm going to show you exactly how you can use these rainbows to, to make some cool looking effects in your photo. Now I'm going to choose a couple different ones just to show you um, some different looks that you can get. So I might choose, the one I really like I know is uh, the full rainbow, so I'm going to click on the full rainbow right there and place it on. And from there I'm just going to drag to make sure that it fits my photo and it's correct. And I'm going to double click. Now this is very bold. You could leave it bold like this, but my recommendation is to take your rainbow and change the blending mode from normal to screen. And that's going to make it really look like a true rainbow that's in the sky. If you want to adjust the opacity and drop it down a little bit just so it looks faint, you could do that and that will make it look more realistic too. Um, so you just play around with it, change the blend mode to screen, change your opacity and you're going to get some cool looking effects. Now I'm going to turn that rainbow off and just show you one more in this pack just because you can do a lot of really cool creative things with these rainbows. So I'm going to go to place embedded and maybe I'll try one of just the, the half rainbows or the quarter rainbows. I'm going to click place. I'm going to move it up where I want it to be. I might resize just a little bit. I'm going to double click. I'm going to change my blend mode on that one to screen. And then what I'm going to do here, because I have a pretty straight line, straight edge line there on the bottom, I'm just going to create a layer mask on that one, take my brush set to black, and just kind of um, erase off the bottom. So it's just like that. And that gives another really pretty rainbow in the sky too. Totally different effect. Just a little rainbow off to the side compared to that full rainbow right here. And there's other rainbows you can play around with too. 
Um, but with each of these, just choose screen, adjust the opacity. It makes it real nice and easy. Now this pack is brand new. Like I said, it will work with older versions of Photoshop and Photoshop Creative Cloud. You can check them out by going to cozyclicks.com forward slash rainbows. Now the cool thing about this set too is that it is also part of the brand new Cozy Clicks Ultimate Pro Editing Membership. So if you are a member, this pack is included this month in your membership. So if you wanna check that out, you get this pack for free included in your membership, plus lots and lots of full editing tutorials, and you can check that out at cozyclicks.com forward slash membership. Thank you so much for watching today. I hope you have fun with your sky, clouds, and rainbows overlay pack.